So the next part is these little island pieces off here to the side. Notice we get to see some of the, the tips of the trees and stuff. The area is, is down a little lower in the water, which make it looks like an island. So this is almost like a little lagoon that these birds are making their way towards in sanctuary uh, on the, uh, from the storm. So in order to make that happen, I'm going to get my medium-sized brush and get this out of the way. Let's move this down a little bit. Let's move this down a little bit. And now we're ready to rock and roll. And so these are prim primarily going to be some green areas. Greens, blues, and browns. So greens, blues, and browns. And this is going to be pretty thick and goppy on those. And so, and it's going to be applied splotchy. And so there's going to be holes in it. And so I'm going to take here, I'm going to roll my brush just back and forth in the paint to get it nice and goopy. And then I'm going to put some, some, some dabs in there. There may be some areas here where I try to just with the tip of the brush put some, some, some tree trunk areas and then gloppy it in. Just put the vertical parts of that in right now. We'll worry about the, the bottom parts later. Here's some more green, splotchy green stuff. I can also put some, some streaks, vertical streaks in here. And I want to get some blue and, and put some splotchy things in. We're not looking to cover up the whole area. We're looking to leave some holes in the area. Let's see if we can actually, uh, let's do this again. That was the super, super zoom in. See if we can move that over so you can see a little bit better on what's happening. Um, so let's let's get some more green here. So as we put this in here, now down here at the bottom of the shoreline, it's going to go into the water a little bit, right? And it's a little bit thicker down here where some of the things are covered up. Remember, I, I told you we want some browns too. Here's some more browns, some brown in there. This needs to come up a little higher, the splotchy stuff, because the, the, it sticks up over top of the, the, the valley. Here, I'm going to snatch up this, this real thin brush real quick. And so I'm using my little, you know, you can put those tree things in. I talked about some verticals. There's a few of those. Okay, back to splotchy things. Remember uh, each time to roll the paint so you get thick portions of that. Oh, this is a shoreline down here for the for the island. And I'm just taking some blue and then some greens and some browns and just kind of alternating and, and putting them in here. Brown. So I got the, the colors once again. I got brown, I got blue, and I got green in here. And I'm just kind of alternating in here. And it is really thick. That's why when you look at it on the, on the screen, on the projecting on the screen, it's hard to see what it is, uh, what, I'm, what I'm using on that. Because it's so thick, it just all appears to be dark. Okay, so right in here, using your tip of your brush, remember we talked about making some some vertical things happening that will be like treetops, but not to worry about the sides. Um, now's where I'm going to worry about the sides. And so I'm going to do all these ones here, and I'm just going to put a few horizontal marks in. There's just two on that one. One, maybe two on that one. I'm just do one on this one. And I'm doing all of the uh, left side ones first. That one had a whopping three 
uh, horizontal lines on there. Once again, just the tip of the brush. Okay, very good, thank you. It's probably getting pretty close to those of you who had the Chick-fil-A sandwich thing. Okay, so I've done, I've just put in a few strokes on the, um, on the one side on that. I'm going to flip this around now. Upside down. And so now I can take and I can use the tip of the brush. Now, I, these don't need to match up. In fact, if they do, it'll probably look weird. They usually do not have the branches matching up on each side. And you may have two on one side and then one on another side. So if they're if they're kind of staggered, that's an okay thing. Because you don't want to you don't want to over overdo it. You don't want to like uh, hit people over the head with the idea that there's some some tree pieces in there. You want to make it so there there's a hint of it. You're not close enough to see every branch. And so if you try to put every single branch in, it's going to look weird. You're only going to see maybe two or three branches, maybe four branches total in any given tree uh, that we're doing. And so there's an example of, our, of our, our island piece on this one side. And so that's, that's the finish up part here. And then like I said, uh, some of you already started putting those birds in here on the flying in this more center section. And so that'll be kind of a cool deal when that gets going. I'm going to finish up the part of the island here that kind of comes down into the into the water with my tiny brush. And that's 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 really about the end of it for this painting for Birds Over Lake. Uh, that we're doing birds over the lake.